Coming up next, it's a light heavyweight matchup between the last style vendor, Israel Adesanya, and John Jones. All right, so here he is, the consensus greatest mixed martial arts athlete of all time, UFC light heavyweight champion, John Jones. It has been a remarkable career. The toughest fight he has had came against you. He is trying to add to his legacy here tonight in what is yet another big spot for Johnny Books. John Jones is a guy that has reached the true pinnacle of mixed martial arts. No matter what he was going through outside of the octagon, the moment he stepped foot in there, he was just the best of the very best. I shared the octagon with him twice, and I have never felt that I was getting attacked by so many different things. He's a phenomenal mixed martial artist, he truly deserves to go down in the UFC Hall of Fame. A champion now was a champion before, one of the longest reigns in UFC light heavyweight history. And it's one thing to have length, it's another thing to use it as well as he does that 84 inch reach. Certainly one of many tools in the vast arsenal of Johnny Bones Jones. All right, so here he is, the undefeated Israel Adesanya, his crowning achievement, at least to this point in time, UFC 236, a monumental, unanimous decision win over Kelvin Gastelum in what was one of the best title fights you or I have ever seen. One of the greatest fights of all time. And to watch Israel Adesanya go out round five, when the fight is on the line and have his very best round of the fight was inspiring for anyone that likes mixed martial arts. If you're a fan of a young guy like Israel, to see him do that, to earn that title, is very, very assuring as he's getting ready to go forward in his career. To achieve that goal in such a short amount of time is truly, truly unheard of. Our tale of the tape for this light heavyweight tilt. Adesanya is 31, Jones is 33. He will have a four inch reach advantage. Here is Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the main event of the evening. And when the action begins, our referee in charge of the Octagon, Herb Dean. And now, this is the moment UFC fans around the world have been waiting for. Live from the T-Mobile Arena in Las Vegas. It's time! Five rounds in the UFC light heavyweight division. Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner. This man is a look see do fighter, only a professional record of 26 wins, one loss, and one no contest. He stands six feet four inches tall, weighing in at 205 pounds. Fighting out of Albuquerque, New Mexico, USA. Ladies and gentlemen, he is the former UFC light heavyweight champion, John Bones Jones! And now introducing his opponent, fighting out of the red corner. This man is a mixed martial artist, only professional record of 22 wins, one loss. He stands six feet four inches tall, weighing in at 200 pounds. Israel, the last style bender, Adesanya! You've been given your instructions in the dressing room. Protect yourself at all times. Follow my instructions. You will have a clean fight. Touch gloves. So here we go, round one. I can barely hear myself think in this arena right now. Two of the most dominant, well-rounded fighters in this division. I mean, these guys are the best of all of mixed martial arts. They can do everything when they're locked inside of the octagon. I'm so excited to watch the highest level of MMA on display tonight. Well, you saw the tail of the tape. He has a reach advantage and made good use of it there with that punch. That right hand hurt him a little bit. Shot a double leg. Oh, how about the slam there? That one cannot feel good. If 
Riders back to their feet here. And both guys really throwing with authority. Oh! Huge right hand! What a fantastic strike to throw at the exact right moment. He deserves this moment. Go finish this fight. Oh. Jones' lower jaw now starting to show signs of swelling. Look at him, Yank. Oh, goes to the ankle pick now to get him down DC. We'll see how he chooses to proceed from here. Got the ankle pick. Let's see how he advances from this position. So just over 20 total strikes have now landed for the last style bender, Israel Adesanya. All right, pretty good combination there by John Jones. We'll see the extent to which... Oh! He needs to start looking to finish now because he's got his opponent hurt very bad. As he lands another one. He's keeping the stat guys busy tonight. Huh? I mean, over and over, take down the temp, have, take down the temp, and the cardio. The cardio to wrestle that much is so impressive because his opponent is getting back to his feet, but he's got this ability to continue to chase takedowns. Oh, lands an elbow. Didn't open him up, but very well could have. Jones gets yet another takedown. off of his back here. Looks like he may try to hip escape. Allows him to get right back up. He did a great job securing that ankle pick, but did not react quick enough to secure top position. All right, so just like that, back to a standing position. We will see who has the advantage. Lands with the right hand. All right, 45 seconds now to go on the round. Oh, nice kick right there. Tell the masses how, how good that feels to get kicked like that. Not it doesn't. <laughs> it doesn't feel good to get kicked like that. Well, he gets up again here, but he looks hurt. And, oh, big knee! Oh! Round two winding down. All right, so we now look back at some of the action from that previous round, DC. A lot of good highlights on both sides. I mean, a lot of good highlights from both competitors. They both should be very proud of what they accomplished. But I'm telling you, man, I'm not sure they can keep this up. If they land at this clip for another five minutes, somebody's going to sleep. You ready to fight? Ready. All right, second round underway. Big ball punch land. Now we get back to range. Oh, beautiful strike there by Israel Adesanya. He's got a lifetime in the game. Not a lifetime. Oh! Oh, he's hurt bad. He's hurt bad. Oh, he's hurt bad. He's hurt bad. Well, he's up, but he is hurting for certain. The finish could come at any time. All right, so he's landed some good shot. Oh, nice shot by him there to get the takedown. I would think that gets the Olympians' stamp of approval. Oh, yeah, absolutely. What a fantastic job of getting the takedown when you need it. So 41 total strikes have landed for Israel Adesanya. And still above 50%, landing with 56% accuracy against John Jones. Now he engages in a Muay Thai clinch. You better protect that head. Great job securing the Muay Thai clinch. Watch for big knees to the body, and eventually him switch it up with a big knee to the head. Huge elbow there. Dude's hurt. Serve him up. Go get him. Oh! Back to the feet. Oh! He's out! It's over. It's up. <laughs> yeah, there's another one for the highlight reel, and that's probably as good a knockout as he's had in the UFC. Just a perfect shot to end the fight. Crowd absolutely loving it. Flush land to close out his opponent. I'm not even sure the other fighters saw it coming. So a big knockout for him here tonight on the biggest of stages. All right, let's re-rack the highlight now, DC. And he's certainly going to enjoy watching this one back. The head kick was there early, it was there often, and ultimately ended the night for his opponent. He found a weakness in his opponent's game. The left kick, over and over, he was able to land it. And he was landing the strikes, too, with his hands. But ultimately, it was the kick that was hidden behind the punch that finished the fight for him.
Ladies and gentlemen, referee Herb Dean has called a stop to this contest at one minute, 59 seconds of round number two. Declaring the winner by knockout, Israel, the last title bender, Adesanya. Well, there will be no shutting that smile off tonight. The celebration is on as he gets a huge win by knockout tonight. I got to think there are a few better feelings in the world than walking into an octagon and Candidly knocking another man out. Yeah, you shut a person's lights off, man. There's nothing like it. Now, I understand a lot of times we hope for the knockout, but he was never hoping.